Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Ollie. It's Make Me That Guy. And the subject of today's video is easy ways to look more photogenic, to take better pictures. All right. The dating world is all about online now. Tinder, social media, Instagram is just dominating society. So you too have to learn how to get the best possible images. Okay, I don't normally mention this kind of thing, but I'm actually a professional model. I've been a fashion and commercial and fitness model for the last 10 years. Show my age a little bit there. Don't watch that. But yes, I have been in the industry for a long time. So I'm going to give you some insider tips today on how to get good photogenic poses. All right, tip number one. Tip number one. Okay, so we're going to want to get a variation of different expressions, right? So first, we're going to talk about how to get a good smiling picture, all right? The key is not to do this. You know, just grin. Doesn't work, right? What you need to do is to mimic a laugh, okay? So actually make the noise to yourself as you're taking pictures, okay? Yes, the people next to you might think you're quite bizarre when you start fake laughing, but fuck them, because you're the one who's going to look the best in the picture. So you go, ha <laughs> ha. See the way I sort of leaned forward and made a funny fake laugh expression? <laughs> I feel ridiculous, right? But it works, okay? So your mouth gets a natural smile shape to it because the ha <laughs> ha is the natural noise you'd be making when you're smiling. So that little fake laugh really helps to increase the natural vibe to your smile and you're no longer looking like a cartoon character. All right, so here we go again. <laughs> again, I kind of lean forward, my shoulders go into position as if I was really laughing. Even better, you know, someone says something, you know, or you see something funny, pretend you're actually laughing at that thing. And then gradually let the, 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 the fake smile fade and keep the mouth shape. <laughs> Okay, so point number two, our second point is the fading legendary eyes, okay? So let's think of ourselves as some legendary fisherman on the deck of his boat hunting Moby Dick, the whale. It's a bit weird, but it actually helps to get in character, right? So what you're going to try and do is fade the eyes out a little bit. Like that. You're going to look straight through. Furrow your, your, your forehead a little bit. Close your eyes a bit and let them fade out. That kind of thing, right? Again, I feel like a complete idiot, but it works, right? So fade the eyes a bit, and you're gonna get that really brooding, serious look. So we've been through the fun, smiling look before, now we're gonna go for that sexy, brooding look. That kind of thing there, right? So fade the eyes, furrow the eyebrows a little, the, the forehead a little bit, and imagine you were looking out to sea, hunting something, hunting Moby Dick, hunting a pirate hunting a girl who works in the shop down the road from you. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Okay, that was number two. So point number three is your posture. Okay, it's not directly your face, but you can have the best smile on earth. But if you're sitting like this, like this, it's going to look rubbish. So to help your posture, you need your spine to be straight. You're going to take a half breath in, not a full breath, you don't want to be like that, half breath in, shoulders back, chest out. And let's imagine there's a string attached to your head and you're like a puppet and someone is pulling the string tight and with that your whole spine aligns your shoulders come back and you keep your posture good like that and that's going to make sure your posture looks good you're going to show yourself at your full height you're going to show that you have a good strong athletic muscular body there even if you don't it's going to enhance what you do have all right point number four Okay, so point number four, right? A different kind of style pose we can go for and the one which all the models utilize on shoots is the chin up and out. So we don't want to do this. You're not a giraffe, right? But you want to have your chin slightly out and your neck fully extended. So think that. Let's have a look from the side. Not this, just like that, right? So you're going to extend your neck fully and slightly stick your chin forward, like this. That's going to lengthen your whole neck. It's going to make your jawbone look much sharper and more 
angled, more sort of, you know, defined. If you're doing this, you're going to get a double chin. It's taken away your neck, which can make you look smaller. But this is a proud stance. So that kind of thing. You got it. Okay, tip number five is another little trick to help us master a smile. We've got the fake laugh smile. But that's almost like an action shot smile. <laughs> like I did earlier. It's almost like you're laughing at a joke. You're having a hilarious moment with your buddies, right? But you're probably not having a hilarious moment if you're on your own, right? So you don't want the laughing smile. For this one, you want a more classic portrait smile. Just a good, nice, direct smile, right? For this one, a little trick is to press your tongue up to the back of your teeth. What that does is it makes you forget about the rest of your facial expression because you're concentrating on your tongue hitting the back of your teeth, your mouth relaxes, as do the other lines, the frown lines and other parts of your face. So I do it again. And with that, you get a really nice natural smile again because your face relaxes and your whole face is involved when you smile. And if you're thinking too much about the smile, it looks a bit manic. Lots of other lines come up, whereas when you concentrate on the tongue, it takes that element away. So try that again, pressing your tongue onto the back of your teeth as you smile. Okay, so our final point and another style of pose, which is often used by models, is the kind of James Dean bad boy look, right? So we're going to put our chin down and our eyes up and kind of invert our posture. Yes, I've said to pull your shoulders back. That's the strong, proud one. This is the looking up one. Grit your jaw, furrow your eyebrows a little bit and look up to the camera. It will look a bit gangster, look a bit like a tough guy picture, but you know what? Chicks love tough guys, right? So we're gonna go for that kind of legendary, easy rider kind of look, right? But James Dean, rebel without a cause like that kind of thing. Head down, chin down, not too down, but just looking up at the camera. Like, what are you looking at? Okay, and that's gonna give you that really nice bad boy image you desire for your social media or your Tinder or whatever it is you wanna use it for. All right, cool dudes. So that was it. That was our easy tips to help you become more photogenic and to get awesome pictures. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe, like, give us a comment. Check out the website, makemethatguy.com. It's been a pleasure. More videos coming soon.